Welcome again to the industry's first and only video newsletter. I'm Jill Nicolini, and this is the Music and Sound Retailers V Newsletter. We've got news this time from the MIAC show in Toronto, a dealer in Milwaukee, and a research lab in England. But first, let's see what's going on at Best Buy. What do you think? Will Best Buy be selling musical instruments in Russia? Well, according to multiple Russian newspapers, the retailing behemoth said da to the idea of opening stores in the large country known for vodka and glasnost. Best Buy has registered its future shop for Russian trademarks, according to the business journals. Could music stores within the stores be far behind? Speaking of Best Buy, the store is now offering the Best Buy Fender Guitar Lesson Program at its stores. The two have teamed up in many of Best Buy's new store within stores to offer lessons where Fender acoustic guitars will be provided at no charge. Best Buy is offering individual lessons for $19.99 for one 30 minute session or $69.99 for a four lesson package. Group rates are $39.99 for four one hour lessons. According to a Best Buy pamphlet, all instructors have completed Fender's certification program and the program is geared toward beginners. The program also asks everyone taking group and entry level individual lessons to purchase the book Essential Elements for Guitar. The pamphlet says the book published by Hal Leonard is available for purchase at Best Buy retail stores. Dealer attendees at the MIAC show in Toronto on August 24th and 25th were very upbeat despite a weak North American economy. Exhibitors reported a bustling show floor on the first day of Canada's biggest MI show. Al Kowalenko, MIAC's executive director, said the show was vibrant, attendance was good, and there was a good overall buzz at Toronto's International Centre, which is extremely close to Toronto's International Airport. For Milwaukee's finest guitars, being an authorized Gibson dealer is a must. But on June 5th, Gibson decided to drop Milwaukee's finest as an authorized dealer. The dealer is trying to fight back in court. Milwaukee's finest is asking for a temporary restraining order allowing to continue to sell Gibson products. Sales of Gibson products have accounted for about 70% of the store sales and it invested about $350,000 in the Nashville company's products, according to the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel. An injunction hearing is scheduled for this month, so please stay tuned for updates. Loud Technologies Chairman and CEO Jamie Engen stepped down from both roles on August 15th. Rodney Olson, a veteran of Cardinal Brands, a Kansas-based office products company, has been tapped to replace Engen. Loud's board of directors did not cite an exact reason for Engen's departure. It did, however, honor his 10 years of service and called Olson a strong successor to take over the reins and continue our growth efforts. All right, here's something really cool. Researchers from England's Sussex University and Germany's Max Planck Institute found that people experience an increase in antibodies and a decrease in stress hormone levels after listening to uplifting dance music for 50 minutes. 300 people volunteered for the study and they listened to either upbeat music or a random collection of tones. According to England's Telegraph, the dance music group fared much better and those volunteers who played a percussion instrument along with the music also benefited. So beat that drum and get out there and dance. Woohoo! How was that? Great. Okay, good. NAM took part in Americans for the Arts Action Fund's Arts Vote 2008 by hosting two events to coincide with this year's national political conventions. During the Democratic National Convention in Denver, musician John Legend headlined a panel discussion that included Miami Mayor Manuel Diaz, U.S. Secretary of Education Richard Riley, NAM President and CEO Joe Lamond, and others. And at the Republican National Convention, former Arkansas Governor Mike Huckabee moderated a discussion on the future of the arts and arts education in America. Joining him were Missouri Governor Matt Blunt, U.S. Representative Todd Tiart, actress and choreographer Debbie Allen, and Americans for the Arts Action Fund President and CEO Robert L. Lynch. So, want to own a harmonica played by Bob Dylan? Well, Honer says you can, and we'll tell you how right after the break. Stay tuned.
Connor and Bob Dylan are bringing you an exclusive line of hand-signed harmonicas. Dylan played and signed sets of seven marine band harmonicas in the keys of C, G, F, D, A, B, and E. Each is displayed in an inlaid ebony box with Dylan's eye logo on the lid, a framed picture of Dylan on the inside cover, and a letter from the president of Honor to confirm authenticity. Also available is a single marine band harmonica in the key of C that Dylan actually signed himself. That one also comes in an inlaid box. Solid Cables has musicians in mind with its new dynamic Arc Ultra Cable. The cable sports a woven braid outer shielding, all metal satin nickel die cast shell, and amphenol connectors. They're hand soldered and available in a variety of lengths. Now, according to the company, the cable is designed to increase accurate articulation in the upper frequency ranges and gets rid of smearing, dullness, and muddy tone. Well, get ready to love, light, and obey. Yes, you heard me right, because now you can control your lighting fixtures with Obey Series controllers from Chave. They're designed with the mobile DJ and small to mid-sized club in mind, and there are two for you to choose from. The Obey 10 controls up to eight 16-channel fixtures and stores six sets of chases containing just under 1,000 scenes each. The Obey 40 controls 12 16-channel fixtures. It has 30 banks on eight scenes, and if you're counting, that makes 240. Plus, it offers fog control, strobe control, and MIDI capability. Korg's new tuner is designed just for you bluegrass players out there. The BA-40 is sized to fit in your gig bag or instrument case and features tuning modes for banjo, fiddle, mandolin, guitar, resophonic guitar, and bass. There's a speaker built in as well as a folding stand. You can connect the tuner directly to the amp as well as tune with a capo attached. All right, we head to Maryland to find out what's new at PRS Guitars in our final notes, so please stay tuned. This year, Electra Voice celebrates 80 years of making the world sound better. Stronger than ever as we complete our first year under Bosch ownership. As part of the Bosch Communication Systems family of brands, EV is focused on an exciting future, building upon our unique legacy as a pro audio pioneer. Electra Voice is and always will be Electra Voice, a great American brand. It's a great time to be part of the Bosch Communication Systems family. Poised for pole position in every pro audio market with you, the customer, as co-driver. The last 80 years have been unforgettable for EV. But you should hear us now. Owner, the leader in harmonica technology for over 150 years, is proudly introducing the Hoodoo Hand Wireless Harmonica Microphone System and the Hoodoo Box Harmonica Amplifier. Following up on the success of the limited edition Steven Tyler model, now there's a new Steven Tyler Artist Series. The state of Maryland gave PRS Guitars a $10 million private activity bond through the Maryland Industrial Development Financing Authority. That bond is going to help the company with an expansion that began in 2006 and will result in an 84,000 square foot addition to PRS's manufacturing facility in Stevensville. The expansion is projected to create 60 new jobs and PRS is already one of the top employers for Queen Anne's County. Well, that's all for this broadcast, but the news, of course, never stops. It's so very busy in this industry. So please join us again a little bit later in the month for even more breaking news, product announcements, and exclusive content. And, of course, bring your friends. You can find all of our past shows and sign up for email delivery of future broadcasts at msretailer.com slash vnewsletter. Of course, thank you for watching once again, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.